All right, in this video, I'm gonna go over something a little different. It's uh, how I use AI to edit these videos. Um, this is a new uh, application that I just learned about a couple weeks ago, and it is a time saver, especially for someone like me that has long pauses, does multiple takes, and says, um, a lot. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, let's go check it out. All right, so first what you wanna do is go to gling.ai. This is where you get the application, download it, install it, and it will run on your computer. The first video you edit is free, but after that, it's $5 per video. And uh, I don't know, it seems like it's worth it to me. It's, it's a great application. What it is, is uh, using AI to cut out silences, to pick the correct, if you take multiple takes, it will, it will get the correct one. It will cut out ums and, and uh, what do they call them? They are disfluencies. So I guess a disfluency, is that a real word? Disfluency? Look up disfluency. Is various breaks, irregular, non-lexical vocals. Oh, all right. It's a real word. There you go. So it'll get rid of all that. All right, let's 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 take a look. I will put a link to this in the description, and let's take a look. This is perfect for uh, content creators out there. You know, this is going to give you an excellent first pass at your rendering instead of spending... I mean, this literally will cut hours out of your editing. All right, here we are in the Gling app. The... First thing to note is look at how clean this interface is. There's not much to do. You sign in, sign out, and it tells you, okay, drag and drop your video here. Uh, I'm going to select one from my previous video. I know this segment had a lot of ums in it, so uh, I thought I would put that right in there. Jesus, there I go again. I'm not going to edit that out. I'm not running this through. I'd that's it. Let's name this Gling Test. There we, I almost said I'm again. My file is added. It registers it on the timeline. And now I'm going to hit continue. Oh, and uh, I'm taking out silences and bad takes. Here we go. Oh, also my, my length is about four minutes, 15 seconds. So let's see how much it chops out. All right. It finished uh, doing its edit in less than two minutes we can see uh, texturally it it gives us this text editor and tells us everything it cut out so here's my intro to it and it is telling me i guess it's calculating what i'm saying it's closely connected with tier and start method of artistic uh i don't think it's getting the words exactly right uh i could mumble I, i'm from Jersey originally, so I may have an accent. Who knows? So it cuts out. Uh, it's talking. It doesn't like the juxtaposition. And those are the edits it made right out of the gate. Uh, there's my um again. And all right. What is this? Skip cuts. Okay. So if we play it back in there, let's see. We'll play it back. All right. We are coming out of the gate swinging. This, uh, this first style is tenebrism and awesome. basically what you could say is um this one uses really really dark elements uh dark background dark environment to give a spotlight okay spacebar will will do it let's put skip cuts on go back here all right we are coming out of the gate swinging this uh this first style is tenebrism and basically what you could say is um this one uses really really dark catch that up. elements uh dark background dark environment um to give a spotlight uh spotlight feel to your subject tenebrism was uh widely seen in italian and spanish baroque works a woman to be the focal point of it so it lets the background and everything fall off to the All right it's it didn't very dramatic it. correct i mean i guess there, there's something weird there those would need to be he touched up. Let's go up. If we, Jesus, I'm saying all that. If we click on these little scissors, we can get back these cuts. I really want these back. It's explaining what, jeez, I just keep saying that. It's explaining the the style of, of art, but I still have my, it's still editing out the dead air in this. It lets the background and everything fall off to the darkness. Very dramatic. I mean, extremely dramatic uh, works of art. Uh, so here's a woman on this style. I like it. Tenorism. Cutting out the silences. Click on here. I think we're going to, I really love forward it. Forward with it. Or here. Beautiful. 
hands are, I mean, I guess there, there's something weird there. Those would need to be touched up. But that's great. Oh, look at that. God, Dude, look at this. Look at number one. Pause. What does this tell me? All right. So let's, so uh, we're going to say we are happy with our edit that Gling just did. I am. I went through. Uh, I actually want to keep the text that, that it suggested to cut. The other thing is if you see something that you want to cut, you can go click on those and you'll get a scissor on, on, on that line and you can cut that whole line out. So what we're going to do now is we have a uh, edit that we like. We're going to hit export. Uh, for me, it's Adobe Premiere XML. Do that. We will put this into the correct folder. Successfully exported the XML. Do I want anything else? No thanks. So I wonder if they're charging if you're just exporting an XML. I guess if you if you export the video edited, then they charge you. If you export the XML, you don't. That's amazing because I this is really a rough cut for me. So that's fantastic. All right, let's go out of Gling and go into Adobe Premiere. All right, here we are in Adobe Premiere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import. I'm going to go to my source. I'm going to import the XML. Bingo. And that has created a clip and a sequence for me. I did save that XML to the same file, uh, to the same location as where my video file was. Let's double click on the sequence and look at that. Here are all the Gling edits that we made. All right, we are coming out of the gate swinging. This uh, spotlight feel to your subject. Tenebrism was uh, widely seen in Italian and Spanish Baroque works. It's closely connected. Okay, so once I'm in here, this is, uh, you know, we have the rough cut. Everything's cut up. We can take it to the next level and actually put this into a multicam situation where we have, because I actually render multiple multiple cameras and then apply the cuts to the multicam so we get the same cuts across all the cameras. You can do that. But, so, let's just look at this edit works. It's closely connected right to the here. Here, so If I want to adjust this edit, this is where, you know, everything's super speedy. I can go to my rolling edit tool, and I can slide that edit. Oh, wait, sorry. What I should do is first link my audio to my video. So, let's link these. Link these. And now I can do my rolling edit and finish Baroque works. It's close. If I want to move this and I see there's a little silence on the other side, I can just move it because there was a little bit of a glitch there. Spanish Baroque works. It's closely connected to the, and that sounds better. So use your rolling edit after you have your rough cut. Chiriaro, this, is, this is an artistic cut. That's an hour. You know, they're, they're working. Um, you know, typically... Before I had this, it would take me about a day to, and I'm pretty fast, to, you know, film myself, then edit it, then, you know, depending on how many passes and how many times I want to get rid of my ums and ands and, you know, all that and all the silence, you know, I, I try to put out really quality stuff, but I really give myself a day to, uh, to, to get these edits done. This is amazing and just cuts out so much time. So it's called Gling. I think you should get it. I think you should go check it out, especially if you're using these applications. You know, it, it seems like you can do unlimited edits. And correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, they only charge you if you're exporting the video. Crazy. This is crazy. How, how do they survive? How are they going to survive? All right, guys, thanks for watching this. If you are doing any content creation and need to speed up your workflow, with your nonlinear editor, Gling is the way to go. This, I promise you, will cut time out. And, uh, you know, AI is getting amazing and it's going to help us do all these tedious tasks so we can put more effort into the creative ones. That's, that's where my head's at. All right. Uh, if you like this video, or if you like it, please like, please subscribe to my channel, and please comment below. I love the comments I'm getting. I love the conversations we're having. All right, until the next video, see ya!